So it's kind of fitting that we're starting this episode at a hospital because I had been deathly sick for like the last week after E3. Just so many people from like all across the world shoved into small areas and yeah, so that's basically where I've been. I've been on my sick bed <laughs> and I struggled through the Captain Spirit walkthrough. I had to like pause that game. I don't know if you guys saw my cuts, but I had to pause the game multiple times while I was playing because I was hacking up along. But feeling better now, I think we should be able to get through this game fairly easily. Let's see if I remember how to play. Maybe I want him to. Maybe I let him kill. Let them kill each other. You guys kill each other. And then I'll kill the monster. Once you guys are done. Uh, the werewolves do work. Serious work. And then I will raid the bodies afterwards. It's almost dead. They almost killed the werewolf. No, Wolfie! Get one more hit in. Turn around, sir. Oh, wait. We got another ghoul. There's gonna be some serious loot here once I. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Level 26. Shit. Maybe I should just cut my losses. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Nick, and we once again back playing some Vampire. Um, we're picking up exactly where we left off. I hope this is where we left off. Oh, there's a... Nice. It's locked, all right. What? That cock tease. That bullshit. Okay, then. Let's pin it down! Stun him, get my blood. Some powers. That's right. That's right, bitch. Yeah, we're here to finish this game off. I, I, when I left for E3, I was right into it, but I just... I ran out of time. Uh, it's not push or luck here. So full intention to finish this series as well as anything else we have going on as well. We have Detroit Become Human Evil Walkthrough. Then we also have Red Dead. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to play one game at a time. Beat one game completely. And then we will and progress from there. So expect the conclusion of this series first. Well probably as I like beat it and like backlog a lot of videos and then probably start recording the other series as well. I kind of still feel a tiny little tickle. Oh. What you want? You must prepare, child, for the earth is bleeding and the harvest is upon us. Stay away, whoever you are. This is no time for petty quarrels, my champion. Can you not hear? The famished queen has awoken. I am not your champion. But of course you are, son. As surely as you are the blood of my blood. I had to kill Mary. I have known your pain, child. Do not succumb to Silence! I dismiss you now! The land calls for a champion. All and everyone needs you. Silence! I'm tired of all these puppet shows. Finsbury Gate? New area. New 
people to talk to, lots of dialogue. You said it was stable, right? That doesn't sound stable. <laughs> that doesn't sound stable at all. I gotta head to Lady Ashbury's mansion, but let me explore first for a bit here. Get lay the land. Talk to the people. Hey, it's the other side. <laughs> That's funny. Oh man, you could just That's you could just teleport oh, fuck me. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Oh. Now we know. Where is everyone? Oh, this is where I found that body. Went up there to chase my sister. Oh, I see, I see, I see. I didn't even realize that was a completely different area. Okay, at least we got some mats now. Let's go straight. What level are you fools at? Level 24? No problems. No problems. It's blood. Oh shit, forgot how to play. This is Jenna just said. I did like no damage that guy. What? Ah. Oh, shit. Better. No, thank you. Well, bastards. <laughs> Jen. Teleporting guys, freaking annoying. Resist! You. Once I kill one of them, it'll be a lot easier. You die first. Ugh. Okay, storm in the bar. Blood. Okay, it's just you and me. Oh yeah, I upgraded this mini hatchet last time. Ooh. Oh, come on. Dude, killing me. Suck it. That was much harder than I thought it was gonna be. Cool. Maybe I just have to get back into used to playing. <laughs> That's my excuse. Max, my excuse. So I'm sticking with it. How am I now? Hmm. Can't go that way. Can't go this way.
I'm just gonna go straight to the mansion. I feel like I've been here already. I think I have. Oh well. The mansion is this way. Damn, that guy got mo -whopped. Who's that guy? This guy's got some jukes, man. <laughs> Just gonna stand here and watch nuts of this. Yo! You don't care! Ooh, he's like me. Oh! Shit. Oh my god. What the hell are you doing? Oh, thank God. He is warmed up for me. Woo! Uh, Underleveled. Might have to eat someone soon. <laughs> it might have to happen. So this is where she lives. What a splendid house. Stable. Knock it in, knock it in. Dr. Reed, welcome. How are you? As good as one can be, considering the circumstances. Yes. Death and affliction seem prevailing themes of late. Please, come in. We have much to discuss. I hope I haven't disturbed you. Not at all. Actually, I was counting on you visiting me tonight. How strange, this painting. Beautiful, melancholic, yet with a haunting dignity. Indeed. A long time ago, a friend asked me to paint this for him. But I kept it in the end. I did not know you were a painter, my lady. There are many things you do not know about me, young Ekon. Please, call me Jonathan. Please excuse my behavior, Jonathan. I tend to tease my friends when uneasy. What is bothering you, my lady? Your letter was quite alarming. We will talk about this in a few minutes. For now, I would like you to tell me about yourself. How have you been since we last met, my friend? I think I should ask the questions, your ladyship. After all, it was you who invited me to settle this most urgent of matters. Fair enough, Jonathan. The situation is critical. We do not have the luxury for etiquette. Please do not misunderstand me. I would be delighted to discuss mundane matters and idle trivialities. If we survive the dark nights to come, we shall have all the time in the world to speak, you and I. For now, Please follow me, Jonathan. Oh, I forgot that I should explore the other first. I must say, your house is exquisite. One of the advantages of living forever is having the time to be selective with one's furnishings. I took the liberty of having tea served. You can still drink tea. Can't keep it down, but I do so enjoy the aroma. Let us toast to make believe. And of course, to your health, Jonathan. And to yours, my lady. Please, call me Elizabeth. So, my lady, why truly did you invite me here? I've been asked to deliver an official invitation to meet the Ascalon Club. Who are they? 
really? They are the embodiment of vampire law in Britain. Some say they influence the destiny of the Empire. Some believe they merely protect it. How many are they? Only a small number of powerful and deceitful immortals. All of them entangled in a sticky web of shadow cabinets, influencing trade. Will they fight the guard of Prewen? I doubt it. Fergal was Lord Redgrave's executioner forever and a day. By defeating that beast, you deprive them of a powerful weapon. Why use you to contact me? Because they know we are close. The Ascalon Club has many spies. Their main occupation is gathering information and then deciding how to use it. Have they threatened you in any way? Not at all. Their message surprised me at first. But it is only logical, considering the critical situation in London. Why not ask for your help? Since you are obviously a powerful and influential immortal yourself. You have to understand that I am invisible to the eyes of Ascalon. For I am a woman. That suits me well, as long as they leave me alone. These two are like sitting like... A little close together. Should I trust them? Of course not. Do not misunderstand me. They can be very useful. But I believe their long-term goals differ from yours. Why meet them then? Because nothing truly important can be achieved in this city without their consent. They could be powerful allies in this current situation. Should I lie to them? We all lie, Jonathan. It falls to you to choose your behavior. The most important rule is to show them due respect. They have done nothing but impede my investigation since I became known to them. Why would they want to see me now? I guess they now see you as Ascalon material. They must have found out what happened to your sister. Proof of the potent blood flowing through your veins. I'm not sure I can accept their invitation. I have seen their handiwork. How Fergal the Beast imposed the club's law. You have no choice, Jonathan. Even I would not openly defy Lord Redgrave, the chairman of the Ascalon Club. What can you tell me about Lord Redgrave? Who is he? Lord Redgrave is the founder and chairman of the Ascalon Club. Most mortals know him as the Earl of Bristol. He is rich and extremely influential. Have you met him? Only on rare occasions, for he never goes outside the club. And women are not awarded membership, even immortals. How old is he? How long has he been a vampire? Lord Redgrave claims to be the progeny of William Marshall, the most valiant knight who ever lived. If that is true, he could be very old. How powerful is his reach? The Ascalon Club may be the most influential secret society in England. Not all its members are immortals, but they are all very powerful. They are not all immortals? How is that? The club is mainly comprised of political figures who seek the safety and expansion of the Empire. The most loyal are awarded immortality. Any familiar or famous names? As the richest, most relentless British tycoon, Aloysius Dawson is considered ideal Ascalon material and has been watched for years. If you are convinced I must meet him, I will heed your advice. Thank you, Jonathan. I understand your reluctance to brush shoulders with London's vampire elite. But we have no choice. Is the situation that critical? Yes. The Guard of Prewen has called for a second great hunt of our kind, and they will stop at nothing to eliminate us. Will the Guard of Prewen and the Ascalon Club fight each other? I doubt it. If Prewen really launched a great hunt, I think most of the Ekons I know would flee the country to escape the bloodbath. I think I saw them kill an Ekon on the way to your house. They seem to have a list with names. To launch another great hunt, they must have collected intelligence on vampire identities and whereabouts. 
They are a resourceful lot. Whoops, killed that guy by accident. Should we fight back? I will not be hunted down like an animal again. I admire your courage, Jonathan. But the best way to fight them is to put an end to the epidemic. This is the only way to clear the air. What is a great hunt? The first great hunt was launched about 75 years ago. In just a few nights, the guard of Prewen located and destroyed most of the old British vampires. Why start a second one? Prewen has always seen us immortals as a threat to mankind. My guess is they suspect one or more of us is the cause of the epidemic. How did you survive the first hunt? I fled, Jonathan. Like most vampires who survived that slaughter. And I secretly came back when I was sure they had lost my trail. You should flee then. Leave London, the country even. I have seen the guard in action. They are merciless. Your concern warms my heart, Jonathan. But fear not. If the situation gets too dangerous, I shall retreat to my secret Scottish manor. I could hide you in my luggage, if you wish. Thank you for the offer. I shall keep it in mind, but I have much to do here. There is a question I must ask you. Could Lord Redgrave be my maker? I doubt it. If Lord Redgrave had made you his progeny, he would not have seemed so surprised when you demonstrated the strength of your lineage. Will I ever discover the identity of my maker? Maybe not, Jonathan. We know for sure you were made by a powerful vampire, but most of those fled England long ago. Please forgive my bluntness, but I have to ask, was it you? Did you make me? Oh, Jonathan, I know you shall always have a gnawing doubt about who made you an immortal, but I swear I had nothing to do with it. You have no idea at all? You seem to know so many things about the secrets of the vampire underworld. Even if I had my suspicions, I would not dare give you a name so soon. All I can say is this. I will make inquiries and keep you informed. What is the plan? The plan is we both try to save this city, you and I. Go to Ascalon, accept their proposition, and use their influence to promote your agenda. How can I save London? The epidemic is the priority. You must find its origin and put an end to it. This is the best way to solve the crisis. What will you do? I still have contacts and old friends in this town. I shall make some inquiries and attempt to learn more of the situation. We need clarity. One day soon, I will have to find the answer to this mystery. And I shall help you in your research, I promise. For now, you must go to the Ascalon Club and play their game. Will I see you again at the Pembroke Hospital? No. You will find me here if you need me. I shall conduct inquiries alone, and we can then share our discoveries. Will you not visit Pembroke again? No. I must remain discreet and avoid attracting attention to Pembroke Hospital for the time being. But how will you sustain yourself? I shall not, Jonathan. Fear not. I'm used to it. When will we meet again? As soon as you meet Lord Redgrave, I suppose. Fear not, my dear. I shall only be a heart's beat away. I want to thank you for all your support and your help, my lady. Could you do me a last great favor and call me Elizabeth? I should be honored, my lady. Then it is settled. Finally, some good news in these dark hours. Thank you. I appreciate the advice. I had best prepare myself to meet this Lord Redgrave now. How thrilling to meet the Earl of Bristol in the flesh, so to speak. Something tells me you're not very keen on the man. Don't get me wrong. The gentlemen of the Ascalon Club are honorable, but their attitude and opinions are somewhat antiquated. <laughs> I see. 
As long as they deny access to female applicants, I will leave them to their antediluvian considerations as to the natural order of things. Jonathan, promise me you'll be careful. Of course. But why the fear in your voice? Look at me, Jonathan. I am. I mean, really look at me, young Ekon. We may be deceptive by nature, but this heart of mine has always told the truth. Oh. Elizabeth. What was that all about? What's she trying to hint at? Finsborough Gate. So, time to visit the Ascalon Club. Shadow Cabinet. Straight to the West End. Okay. We gotta find a hideout for this district. Cause it's a long, long, long way back. Let's see if he attacks me. Yep. He attacks me regardless. I didn't do anything. Come on, dude. New dialogue available. One second. Maybe she needs help. Dang, rob the rich lady. Personal diary. Probably lore about her. You guys can read. Charlotte Asbury. You have a daughter? Dang. talk to you quite yet let me explore your house find your daughter maybe I can learn more about you it's locked oh I wonder if I killed her <laughs> get a key Yes, there is no Charlotte right now, so we will talk. Hello again, Jonathan. To what do I owe the pleasure of your visit? Sorry to disturb you again, but could you spare me a few minutes? Of course, my dear. Always a pleasure to speak with you. Concerning your investigation... Yes? Are you truly seeking to identify my maker? I cannot promise you anything, but yes. I am conducting some research of my own. Do you think we shall ever see better days? 
or at least better nights. I know not, Jonathan. I have seen some horrid days in my long lifetime. Experience has taught me that one cannot outrun the fates. Will you tell me your story one day, Lady Asprey? One of them, perhaps. I have had so many lives, Jonathan. Eternity may not be enough to relate them all. When all of this is over, the war and the epidemic, we could leave the city for a while. Travel around Europe, you and I. Traveling is always so complicated for us poor creatures of the night. But yes, I would be glad to travel the world with you, my dear. Do you know if the epidemic has affected many people in the West End? I confess I've been more concerned by events in the East End. The wealthy have more efficient ways of dealing with infection. But this is no common epidemic. That is true. I must tell my daughter to stay at home for a few days. But the girl is stubborn and fiercely independent. Much like her mother. Goodbye, Elizabeth. You have a daughter? Where is she? Is that it? Oh. Dr. Swansea had more dialogue too. Okay, I need to get there somehow, but I was locked. So that means we take the long way around.